The Rainbow Theater presents The Karate Kid. The Empty Hand. You can read along with me in your book. You'll know it's time to turn the page when you hear this. Let's begin now. Daniel LaRusso was unhappy about leaving all his friends behind in New Jersey and coming to live in California. But things seemed to be looking up when he was invited to a beach party and noticed a pretty girl who seemed to be aware of him. Before he could get to know her, a gang of older boys who called themselves the Cobras arrived on motorcycles. Their leader tried to take the girl's radio. She protested, and Daniel went to her aid. A fight developed. Daniel fancied himself as a karate expert, but he was no match for the older boy, and was soon on the ground listening to the jeers of the Cobras. The next day, Daniel was on the school playing field, a black eye concealed behind his sunglasses, when the girl called to him. Hi, big guy. Hi, how you doing? Oh, your eye! Uh, don't worry, it looks worse than it feels. Believe me. Yeah, I hope so. Listen, I never got a chance to thank you. Oh no, that was nothing. Just sorry about your radio. Well, I'm all sorry about your eye. Guess you should have just given it to him. Why? It wasn't his, right? Yeah, it wasn't his. Hey, yeah, <laughs> we think alike already. Come They're on. calling me. I gotta go. I I'll see ya. Bye. Hey, you got a name? Allie with an I. What's your name? Daniel, <laughs> with an L. Allie was definitely a girl he wanted to be friends with. Maybe California wasn't such a bad place after all. But the Cobra Gang had other ideas and constantly picked on him, making his school life a misery. He decided he must improve his karate and went to a karate school in town to see if there was any chance of enrolling. The sensei or teacher at the school was an ex-army man. Daniel listened as he fiercely indoctrinated his class. Fear does not exist in this dojo, right? No, no sensei! sensei. Pain does not exist in this dojo, does it? No, no sensei. sensei! Defeat does not exist in this dojo, does it? No, no sensei. sensei! What is the way here? Strike first, strike hard, no mercy, sir! <laughs> Daniel watched, fascinated, as they went through their karate routines, but was horrified when the teacher called for someone named Johnny Lawrence to lead the class. It was the boy he had fought with on the beach, and the class included the rest of his Cobra gang. Daniel crept out of the school dismayed, but he was noticed, and as he cycled home that night, he was pursued by the Cobras on their motorcycles and forced off the road. His bicycle was bent and broken. He carried it home and angrily threw it in the trash container. I hate this bike! I hate this stupid bike! His mother had just driven back from work. What's the matter? Why do you throw your bike away? Because I felt like it, Ma. Oh, my God. Oh, you're hurt. Would you tell me what's going on here? What do you want to hear, Ma? The truth. No, you don't want to hear the truth. All you want to hear is how great it is out here. Well, maybe it's great for you, 
But it's the pits for me. I hate this place. I just want to go home. Listen to me. I cannot help you unless you tell me what's wrong. I gotta take karate. That's it. You took karate? No, not at the Y. A good school. Fighting doesn't solve anything. Oh, well, need the palm trees. I didn't want to come out here. Nobody asked me. I want to go home. You're right. You should have been asked. Let's go inside and talk it over. What about your bike? <laughs> it's safer to take a bus. Now, uh, let's go home. Why can't we just go home and forget this place? They went inside, unaware that the scene had been watched by Mr. Miyagi, the Okinawan maintenance man. After school the next day, Daniel met up with Allie. We're going to the arcade, Daniel. Want to come? Yeah, sure. Sounds great to me. Just then, Daniel caught sight of Johnny and his cobras coming towards them. He turned away. Uh, I just remembered. I forgot something. So I'll catch up with you guys in a minute, okay? Daniel, you don't have to run away. I'm not running away from anything. Hey, look. We've got to deal with this. You'll deal with things your way. I'll deal with them mine, okay? I'll see ya. I gotta go. When he reached home, he found his bicycle on the step in full working order. It could have been repaired only by Mr. Miyagi, so Daniel went along to thank him. He found him trimming miniature trees. Did you fix my bike? Hi. Thank you. Welcome. I really appreciate that. Are those real trees? You like to see? Come inside. Thanks. How did they get so small? I train. Clip here. Tie there. Where did you learn that? Japan? Okinawa. Did you go to school for this? Father teach. Was he a gardener? Fisherman. These trees are really beautiful. Come, you try. Uh, I don't want to mess it up. Sit down. Close eye. Trust me, concentrate. Think only tree. Make a perfect picture down to last pine needle. Wipe your mind clean of everything but tree. Nothing exists in whole world. Only tree. Got it? Remember picture? Yeah. Make picture. How do I know it's the right one? If come from inside of you, always right one. The next day at school, everyone but Daniel was occupied in preparations for the Halloween dance. He avoided Allie. In the evening, he dropped in at Mr. Miyagi's workshop. Ah, oh, Daniel-san. Happy Halloween. How's school today? Big party tonight, huh? What's the matter? You're not going? No. How come? I'm not into dancing that much. I don't feel like it anyway. Ah, Daniel-san. You too much by self. Not good. I'm not by myself. I'm with you. To make honey, young bee need young flower. Not all prune. I haven't got a costume anyway. You'll have costume. you go. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> if I went as the Invisible Man. Invisible Man? Yeah, you know, so nobody would see me. <laughs> Daniel went to the Halloween party completely hidden inside a shower curtain. But Ali knew it must be him and joined him behind his screen. 
I never danced in a shower before. A friend of mine made it for me. Isn't it great? So where have you been hiding? No, I haven't been hiding. I haven't seen you around. Have you been looking? Sort of. Sort of? I thought maybe you're still angry with me. Why? Well, because of what I said last time I saw you. Oh, now, I've been thinking a lot about that. No, I know. But I should really just learn to mind my own business. No, I think you're right. About facing up to things. I just kind of forgot for a while. Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. It's just that he thinks he can do whatever he wants to people. Who? Johnny. I'd love to see him get a dose of his own medicine. Well, you know, it goes around. It goes around. Mmm. I'd love to be there when it does. Me too. Say, do you want to go outside? <laughs> you talked me into it. Daniel drew back his shower curtain and was hit by an egg thrown by someone dressed as a chicken. He had to go to the washroom to clean up. There he saw Johnny go into one of the toilets for a secret smoke. He rigged up a hose pipe and drenched Johnny with water. Hey! Hey, what? Johnny was furious, and he and the rest of the Cobras, all dressed as skeletons, chased Daniel out of the hall. They cornered him against a fence and all pitched into him using their vicious karate techniques. Daniel was helpless on the ground, but they still kept at him when, with a cry, Mr. Miyagi leapt the fence and laid about him. His karate was so good that although the Cobras outnumbered him, they fled leaving him to carry Daniel back to his house to patch up his bruises. Daniel came to and tried to remove the damp cloth on his forehead. Miyagi stopped him. Leave one. It stinks. What is it? Smell bad. Feel good. Uh, how come you didn't tell me that you do karate? You didn't ask. Where'd you learn it from? Father. I thought he was a fisherman. In Okinawa, all Miyagi know two things. Fish and karate. Karate comes from China, 16th century. Called Te, Han. Much later, Miyagi ancestor called karate, empty hand. I always thought it came from Buddhist temples and stuff like that. You see too much TV. <laughs> That's what my mother tells me. Hey, have you ever taught anyone? No. Well, would you? It depends. On what? Reason. As revenge? Danielson, you look revenge. That way start by digging too great. <laughs> well, at least I have company, right? Fighting always last answer to problem. Your friend, all karate student, eh? That problem. No, problem is getting my ass kicked every other day. That's the problem. <laughs> because boys have bad attitude. Karate for defense only. That's not what these guys are taught. I can see. No such thing. As bad student, only bad teacher. Teachers say, student do. Oh, great. That solves everything for me. I just go down to the school and straighten it out with the teacher. No problem. Now, use head for something other than target. I, I was only kidding about that. Why kidding? Because I get killed if I show up there. Get killed anyway. Would you go with me? No, can. Why? You said it was a good idea, right? For you, good idea. For me, good idea. No get involved. Oh, thanks for nothing then, man. Danielson. What? Okay, I go. Oh, excellent, Miss Miyagi. That's just great. Say, what kind of belt do you have? 
canvas you like. In Okinawa, belt means no need rope to hold up pants. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's great. Daniel-san, karate here in head, here in heart, never here in stomach. You understand? I think so. Good night, Daniel-san. Good night, Miss Miyagi. Tomorrow morning? Ten o'clock. The next morning, Mr. Miyagi and Daniel went to the karate school. They heard the sensei addressing the class. We do not train to be merciful here. Mercy is for the weak. Here on the street, in competition, a man confronts you, he is the enemy. An enemy deserves no mercy. He noticed Daniel and Miyagi. Last we have visitors. What are you here for, old man? Come ask, leave boy alone. What's the matter? The boy can't take care of his own problems? One to one problem, yes. Five to one problem, far too much, ask anyone. Is that what's bothering you, the odds? Well, we can fix that. No more fighting. This is a karate dojo, not a knitting class. You don't come into my dojo and drop a challenge and leave, old man. Too much advantage. Your dojo. Name a place. Tournament. <laughs> you got real nerve, old man. But I think we can accommodate you. Ask. One more small request. Ask. Leave boy alone to train. All right. No one touches the prima donna until the tournament. But if he don't show up, then it's open season on him and you. <laughs> In the street outside, Daniel is amazed. I can't believe this! What you got me into? You said you were gonna make things better for me. Miyagi smiled. I did. I just saved you two months of beating. Two months to teach you real karate. Mm -hmm.